HP Victus in 2023 launched laptops in so many variants, it's enough to make one's head spin. And here is one of the craziest laptops with some wild specifications. We are all familiar with the good old RTX 3050 with 4GB of VRAM, but this laptop has an RTX 3050 with 6GB of VRAM. So in this video, let's see how the Victus 16 is different from the Victus 15. And more importantly, is there any benefit of getting an RTX 3050 with 6GB of VRAM as compared to RTX 3050 with 4GB of VRAM? And how far behind is it from the RTX 3060, which already has 6GB of VRAM? First, let's talk about this particular laptop and then move forward to comparing RTX 3050 with the other GPUs. Starting off with some general specifications, this laptop has AMD Ryzen 7 7840Hs with 8 cores and 16 threads, a 16 GB of DDR5 RAM clocked at 5600 MHz, 512 GB Gen 4 SSD with TLC NAND type and 25 GB of Dropbox storage for 12 months. And the most important aspect of this laptop, its GPU which is the infamous RTX 3050 now with 6 GB of GPU. DDR6 VRAM as compared to traditional 4 GB of VRAM with a 90 watt TDP. So the first thing that we need to address is the big question. Is 3050 with 6 GB better than 3050 with 4 GB? If we see the specification, 6 GB variant has more CUDA cores which basically means that it can process more data like more cores in a CPU and added to that it has more VRAM which brings out the best in this card. Using this card gives a boost of about 10 to 20 percent in GPU intensive tasks and games as compared to using a 4GB variant. It is definitely a step up from RTX 3050 4GB variant. Now let's see how is the build of Victor 16 different from its previous versions. It is dimensions of 14.52 by 10.21 by 0.93 inches which is just slightly bigger than the 15 inch variant and you cannot really feel the difference between the size of a 15 inch and 16 inch as they maintain the same aspect ratio of 16 by 9. To be honest I was expecting it to have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio like many other laptops did with the 16 inch variants. The difference between the size is not really noticeable until you place it with the 15 inch Victus variant. It has a weight of 2.31 kgs which is about the same as the 15 inch variant so no difference there. The variant that I reviewed had a performance blue color with a rubbery finish though I am not sure that they have a grey color available in this variant. There is not much difference between the rest of the build with the same rubbery finish, same rounded corners, same air exhaust fans on the back located on one side, no air intake vents on the either side about the same top lid flex, same stable hinges, minimal to no keyboard flex which is really great, the same good old really big fully clickable trackpad which is smooth to use and supports multi gestures. Now let's see what's new in this variant. There is very little to no screen wobble in this variant which is a big win considering it's an HP laptop. It does have a same full size keyboard but this time it comes with a single zone RGB backlighting which can be cycled through the HP Omen gaming hub software. Talking about the screen it has 16.1 one inch anti glare IPS panel with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p, an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, screen brightness of 250 nits, which is really dim in real life usage. It has low color gamut of 45% NTSC, which although is okay for gaming and media consumption, but you really feel a difference while doing color accurate tasks like color grading. I remember making a thumbnail on a 45% NTSC screen just to realize that the thumbnail looked really yellow when I saw it on my phone after posting. It has a decent refresh rate of 144Hz and a screen response time of 8 milliseconds which comes in handy for playing eSport games. It has a contrast ratio of 1000 by 1 so the blacks will appear more black and the whites will appear more white adding to the crispness of the screen. Talking about the ports, it has in total 3 USB Type-A ports and 1 USB Type-C port. Starting from the left, it has 1 RJ45 Ethernet port, 1 USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port which has always on functionality which means it can be used to charge other devices even when the laptop is powered down and it has one audio mic combo jack. On the right side, it has one USB Type-C 3.2 port which supports display up to 4K 60Hz and gives the output from the iGPU and has always on functionality. Two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one HDMI 2.1 port which supports display of 8K 60Hz and gives output from the DGPU directly and at last it has one charging jack. There are no ports on the back side which is really a missed opportunity to give a cleaner setup. There is no SD card reader like in the previous versions of the Victus. 
less the ports are good enough better than most laptops in my opinion if you think that the features end here you are in for a treat as it has a mug switch which can be accessed through the hp omen gaming hub under the graphics switcher tab it has a 1080p webcam which along with this privacy shutter is a really cool thing to have in a budget laptop it's got speakers from bang and olsen which sound really great and loud and clear with a minor bass here is how they sound It has a 70 watt battery which is again unusual to have in a budget laptop which gives a really good battery backup of up to 6 hours of regular usage and 1.5 to 2 hours of light gaming which is completely justified due to the fact that it has a big battery and an AMD CPU which are known for their power efficiency. It comes with a 200 watt hour battery and the laptop also has a fast charging feature which together charge the laptop from 0 to 50 in about 30 minutes. It also comes back with MS Office 2021 Live time activated which along with its low profile non gamerly look is really great for office usage. It has Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 for that seamless connectivity. To test the laptop's prowess, I put the laptop to certain benchmarks and it passed with flying colors with Cinebench R23 giving a whopping 16,960 in multi-core performance and 1654 in single core performance, Geekbench giving 11,968 in multi-core and 2611 in single core performance, 3D Mark Time Spy scored 6285 GPU, 11,130 in CPU, and 6724 overall score. These scores are really great for any task, be it medium to hardcore gaming, streaming, coding, creative workload, 4K level editing, and for the first time, Victus is good enough for 3D modeling and AI work due to its high VRAM. Am I a joke to you? I know, I know, the RTX 40 series can do this already. I just like saying this for Victus as it has never been recommended for such tasks. I played some AAA titles and eSport titles on this laptop under these test conditions and here is what I found. All the games gave far better performance than any traditional RTX 3050 with 4 GB of VRAM. At least 10% increase was noticed in every game and in some games like GTA 5, about 25% increase was created. Clearly 6 GB of VRAM makes a huge difference as compared to 4 GB of VRAM. The temps were really well managed and there was no instance of thermal throttling at all. HP laptop paired with the AMD CPU with a 90 watt GPU, the temps would obviously be awesomely managed. But this laptop still doesn't compare to the RTX 3060 as it may have 6 GB of VRAM but still has lower core count and a lower TDP than a 3060. So here is the pecking order. First RTX 3050, then 3050 Ti, then RTX 3050 with 6 GB of VRAM and finally RTX 3060. Talking about the upgradability, this laptop has two RAM slots, both of which can be upgraded to 32 GB of DDR5 RAM each, giving it a total of 64 GB. It has only one m.2 slot which limits the storage capacity up to 2 tb in total it also has one upgradable wi-fi and bluetooth card talking about the price this laptop is available online for 79,000, but you can get this laptop for 76,000 at hp's omen playground and exclusive hp gaming showroom by premier laptops luthiana who have all the laptops on display for you to check and test the laptop yourself and making an informed decision so do check them out before buying your new hp victus contact details in the description. Talking about the competition, you can get this HP Victus 15 for 86k which sure is a great deal but it does not have an RGB keyboard and has a smaller screen but will perform better. Lenovo LOQ with the same specifications for about 80,000. Asus Strix for about 1 lakh. Acer Nitro 5 with i5 13 gen and RTX 4050. So the final verdict. Is this laptop worth the buck? I would say a definite yes as 6GB of VRAM makes a huge difference in the performance of a 3050 laptop. The cooling capability of HP Victus is truly impressive and it gave more than playable FPS in all the AAA titles. However, I feel that i5 13 Gen and RTX 40 series laptops are a huge competition to this laptop with RTX 3050 with 6GB as this RTX 3050 may have more VRAM but will still perform lower than RTX 4050. So if you're getting a great deal on this laptop, definitely go for it but try to go for a 4050 instead. If you like the review, please like the video, dislike if you didn't, tell me about it in the comment section and consider subscribing for more videos like this.